Hey everyone, today in this video we'll be learning to create some amazing arcade games using Microsoft's MakeCode platform. So if you are new to MakeCode, uh, you can simply uh, hit arcade.makecode.com and you, uh, this page will load. So here you can find tutorials, live streams, some amazing block games, JavaScript games and advanced stuff. There are a lot of stuff. So um, to begin with, let's uh, go and create a new project and we're going to name it, um, okay, eat the taco. So this is b uh, what we, we're basically going to make. So I'm hitting create. So as you can see, this is where I can um, like actually create my code. So there are two ways you can do that with Arcade. Uh, one is you can use blocks and the other one is you can use JavaScript. So in this tutorial we will be using blocks and um, on the next tutorial perhaps we will be building the exactly the same game um, using the JavaScript uh, language. So here's a little sneak peek of uh, what our final product is going to look like. Yeah, so as you might have seen uh, that's what we're going to build. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first of all, um, we have this blank screen here and we have this on start block. So this is an event block. And what event block basically means is it runs uh, whenever, the, uh, whenever our game starts. So let's first go to scene. And here we can find tiles. So set uh, we can we want to drag this set tile map to uh, thing here, a block here. So as we have that, we want to click on that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some tiles of our own. So I'm gonna first um, create. A, okay, I'm gonna create a blue tile. So I'm going to use the fill tool. Okay, I've created this blue tile. So I'm also going to create this tile. So let's go to fill tool. And there we have it. So as we can see, we have these uh, two different tiles we've created. So uh, the purpose behind creating this uh, these tiles is to simply, you know, the thing we're going to do here is we're going to draw something uh, we're gonna draw our background or we're gonna draw uh, what our game exactly looks like so the first thing I want to do here is as you can see this is on 16 by 16 resolution I want to uh, change that to 10 by 8 resolution because because it pretty much matches the resolution of uh, the simulator uh, or the emulator that we're gonna play our game on so the first thing I want to do here is I want to draw the bottom uh, with this tile and I'm going to fill everything else with this color. So what we basically want to do here is we want to make this as our uh, the blue um, blue section as our base and this is uh, basically going to be the background or sky. So what we want to what we're trying to do here is we want to draw walls so in order to draw walls you have uh, you simply have to click here and if it turns red you can simply start drawing here oh so i accidentally filled everything with walls so that's not going to work let me go to undo it's here and let me actually pick up my paint tool and i'm going to paint the bottom row with walls so what this essentially does is uh, this thing, this uh, bottom row is entirely going to be a wall. So I'm going to uh, unselect this. Uh, so you can see this is how our screen is going to look like. And this is uh, what our sc uh, screen with some walls are going to look like. So let's click on done. So as we can see here, so on our screen, we have this sort of color. Let, let me change that color because it, it um, kind of matches this thing. So let me change this color. Uh, so let me first remove show walls. 
let me actually create a new block and let us make the bottom um, let us make the bottom row white so let me fill this with white let me click on done I'm gonna pick this up and I'm gonna use the paint tool and I'm gonna paint it white so as you can see we have our wall and it's white so let me click on done and here we can see the difference so this is gonna be our base this is gonna uh, this is the place where our hero is gonna be or Amy um, in this case so um, as we have created our tile let's simply go to sprites so um, if you do not know what uh, a sprite is it's basically um, a, a bitmap image or a 2d image so um, it's, it's basically what your character or your food or anything uh, on our 2d game looks like so I'm gonna be taking this block so it says say uh, set my sprite to sprite of kind player so I'm gonna take uh, this I'm gonna rename it so we're gonna make this Amy all right so in this sprite block we're simply gonna click there and we can actually draw something on our own so let's let's try to draw something like okay let's let's try to draw this sort of smiley and as you can see there's a smiley on the screen but it, it does not look very nice and I'm not at all good at drawing so let's simply like take something from our gallery instead so we have lots and lots of options in our gallery so what I want to do here is I want my sprite or my uh, character to be looking backwards so uh, I'm gonna take this hero walk back this icon and I'm gonna select this and I'm simply gonna click on done all right so everything is updated and our character is looking backwards but as you can see we cannot do uh, anything with this so I want to give it some sort of movement all right so let's go to controller and let me take this move my sprite with buttons and let me try to do that and as you can see it does not work because it says my sprite but we have all um, but my sprite is uh, does not exist in our program we have Amy so Amy should be the sprite so now we can move and like we can move her move Amy into any direction um, so so as we can see uh, we have our sprite and we can move our sprite but we cannot move it uh, past the wall that's that's the reason why we created the wall so we have our character but uh, do we have our food yet no so let's get creating some tacos so in order to create tacos I'm gonna um, I'm gonna create tacos in such a way that uh, every second spawns two tacos so that you know I can fulfill my hunger <laughs> so let's go to uh, like um, let's drag this um, block here on game update every 500 milliseconds so the thing we want to do here is we want to create a sprite which is essentially a taco so let's uh, first rename this okay I, I already created something called taco but okay let's let's uh, let's create a new name called taco um, so let's create good taco yeah so we have good taco as our sprite name now let's uh, create the kind of the sprite to be a food we could also uh, do with projectile but the thing is um, taco is essentially a food and this uh, whole game is about eating a food so let's uh, like and eating a food increases our score so let's create it of type food so what I'm basically gonna do here is I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna go to the gallery where we can find lots and lots of icons and uh, like I'm essentially gonna take there are there are two tacos like there's this small taco and big taco my game is small so I'm gonna select small taco and done so I'm gonna be creating tacos like 
um, every uh, twice every second but all of them are being spawned right here so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna change the position of tacos so I'm gonna go to sprites and I'm gonna go to uh, set sprite position to an uh, x0 y0 I'm gonna take this block I'm gonna put it here so every 500 uh, milliseconds we're gonna okay uh, every 500 milliseconds we're gonna change the position of newly uh, created taco so let's select a good taco and let's uh, not select the uh, x0 and y0 because it, it's simply gonna spawn just there so what we're gonna do otherwise is let's go and like okay uh, so what I want to have is I want all the tacos to fall from this level so this in the top so it's basically y is equal to somewhere around uh, 7 9 okay I'm, I'm gonna have y fixed at 8 and I'm gonna take some random values for x so that we sim uh, we we just don't spawn just at a particular place but like at different places so for that um, I want this uh, entire thing uh, this entire food to fall down uh, from different uh, it should represent raining so I want to go here uh, on math and I'm gonna drag this pick random block and I'm gonna put it on X oh I'm so sorry that was a mistake I'm gonna put this on X and I'm gonna say Y okay let's let's uh, do this again um, let's go to math okay let's drag zero here for some reason I like uh, remove this so we were fixing that on 10 perhaps 8 10 that's the same thing and I'm gonna be so as you can see it's it's generating a random um, food randomly but it's limited to that it's because our coordinates are 0 to 10 but I want it to be spawning from here to here so let's see where, where uh, these things are essentially so let's go to I'm gonna type in 10 and I'm gonna type in 145 so as you know this uh, entire screen uh, is like 160 pixels wide so 10 starts here and 145 ends here so as you can see our tacos are being created and yeah the, exactly the way we want but uh, if we move our character there it's not eating them and also we don't want our character to be uh, able to move anywhere like we we want it to be uh, able to move just in the bottom so to do that let's first stop the game and I'm gonna click on plus basically looks like it it's gonna look like this with VX 100 and VY 100 but what I'm gonna do is V uh, I'm gonna set the VY to 0 so what actually is VX and VY so V basically refers to velocity and VX uh, means velocity of X which uh, refers to the horizontal axis and velocity of Y refers to the vertical axis so we're gonna uh, do it with horizontal axis all right so we have our uh, velocity of X so our buttons are gonna work only on the horizontal axis and not on the vertical axis so as you can see let's restart the game I'm only able to move left and right but not up and down yeah so we can we can always vary these uh, velocities so if I put in 10 and if I do the same thing you can see it's moving very very slowly so we, we want to have it like move faster let's put 150 all right we have 150 and it moves at the exact speed we want okay so what do we want to do next um, our uh, character is not placed at the position we want so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna reposition my sprite so 
I'm going to select set my sprite position to x0, y0 and I'm going to take, I'm going to select Amy for that and the position should be, uh, so 80 is x, uh, when, whenever we put the value of x to be 80, it's basically the half of the screen and we want to make it in such a way that it okay let's let's try 80 and 101 uh, let's see yeah uh, it's uh, the character is on the middle of uh, of the screen just as we want and is able to move left and right but we want the fit feet to be touching so let's increase the value by let's do 104 I think it will touch yeah so as we can see our character is able to move uh, with um, on on the base we've created and uh, we're not able to have up and down motions we're simply gonna have left and right motions all right so up until this point we've created this entire tile tile map we have created our uh, player sprite we have created our food sprite and our food is spawning just the way we want and our player is there and can move just the way we want so what would we want to do next we want to uh, the thing we want to do next is we want to add some movement to the food so we want to uh, we want to make this food fall down so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to sprites and we're gonna select this set my sprite velocity vx and vy so what it essentially does is as i drag that here and as i select good taco uh, which is basically this taco thing so as we play that as you can see all of my blocks are moving in this direction so big uh, that's because we have posi a positive um x um positive velocity for x and positive velocity for y so it's uh, it's all uh, gathering in this end so we don't want that uh, to happen so for that what we want to do here is we are gonna make the velocity of x zero so what that essentially does is it removes all the horizontal movements and it only keep, keeps the vertical movement so as we can see we have our food raining just the way we want it but like our player is not able to eat it and that's really really annoying we can see all these food piling up here and not being able to eat it while being this hungry it's it's bad so let's fix this uh, so to fix this what we're gonna do here is as our so our player is completely hidden now so as our player um, touches the food uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the food vanish and we're gonna increase the score of our player so for that we will need something called event blocks event blocks are essentially just like this on start and on game update so we, we're gonna take some event blocks here we're simply gonna go to sprites and we're gonna go to so as you can see event blocks always look like this so overlaps is a block we want uh, so what this basically says is when a sprite of kind player overlaps with other sprite of kind player so we can change that when a sprite of kind player interacts with other sprite of kind food what we're gonna do first is we we want to change the score so uh, how do we do that so let's first set some score um for our game uh, so we go to info we set the score to zero in our on start so we have zero score at the beginning and what we want to do is as our player starts to eat uh, these uh, so on the event that our um, player sprite overlaps with food sprite we're gonna uh, increase the score by one so as you can see let's play this once again so yeah you can see the scores are being increased like the moment i touch it and it it uh, increases astronomically 
we don't want that to happen so what we basically want is we want this food to vanish as well so as we touch it we want it to vanish all right so what we want to do here is as we can create these sprites we can also destroy these sprites so yeah as we can see here um i think it's somewhere up yeah on the effects section we have destroy my sprite so we can simply drag that block here and we we want to so in this case in this game our sprite of kind player is referring to amy and other sprite of kind food is referring to good taco so what we basically want to do is this is referring to this particular taco we touch it's not referring to all the other tacos so let's first try to you know get the good taco variable into our my sprite so let's get that done and let's try to destroy the good taco so doing that let's see yeah as you can see all the newly spawning tacos are being destroyed uh, the the moment we eat something so this is something we don't want to happen because why is this happening it's happening because i'm destroying good taco uh, which is essentially everything that's getting created yeah so what we want to do is we want to change that to my sprite and we're going to drag this other sprite thing and replace my sprite with that so what this essentially does is whenever i my player interacts with any sprite of food it's going to destroy that particular sprite and nothing else so as we can see this is yeah this is uh deleting that destroying that sprite and also increasing my score at the same time so with the, uh, even with these uh, small amount of blocks we have made this amount of progress that's awesome so let's um let's let's add some more features so what i want to do is the moment the uh, taco hits this base we want it to you know uh, get destroyed and we want our lives to be deducted so uh, let's see what how we can do that let's first add some lives uh, to our game so let's uh, set the life to three in the beginning no i, I want to set it to five and whenever um like so the taco touching our um base is another event so we, we're gonna drag another event block so for that we go to overlaps once again and okay um we're actually not going to do that let's let's uh so since uh the sprite is hitting a wall let's try to drag something with wall okay um i'm not able to find it here let's search for wall so make code has these uh cool search options so here we we have on sprite of kind player hits wall so this block what um so on sprite of kind player we don't want it to be player we want it to be food so whenever a food uh hits the wall we want it to be destroyed right so let's duplicate this and we want to destroy that and okay we we also want to destroy this sprite all right so this uh so this sprite will be the food that hits the wall so we're gonna destroy every food that hits the wall so let's see yeah even if we don't eat it it's getting destroyed yeah as you can see and if we eat it our scores are getting increased so this is pretty cool right uh what we want to add to this is okay let's let's uh decrease our lives um every time we hit this uh every time a taco hits the uh wall because we don't want that to happen let's go to info and here is the option change life by minus one so what this essentially does is as we have five lives it uh, decreases a life every time we hit uh, the food hits the wall which is the space so let's play that 
let's see one hit two three four five okay this shows the game over thing um, if you find this sound annoying you can simply like mute this thing and yeah we've, we've uh, changed life by minus one and this is pretty much all about the game so yeah we, we can eat as we want and we can like uh, you know play this okay I'm missing a lot of tacos here all right so yeah we um, let's see yeah so game over 35 is my new high score so what we essentially did in this okay uh, let's let's do something more like whenever I eat something let's add some effects there are lots of cool effects so let's add um, so what do we wanna okay let's add a spray effect uh, whenever I so overlapping with uh, player overlapping it with food means eating it so let's add spray effect for 100 milliseconds we want to keep this to 100 because if we keep it more than that the uh, game will sort of look laggy and we want to do the same here like but we want to do fire effect yeah we want to do the fire effect and let's create this for 100 uh, milliseconds as well so let's see what happens yeah as as uh, the tacos hit um, the uh, wall they kind of start resembling fire and whenever I eat them they kind of start some sort of spray I don't want uh, the spray effect for that I want to have okay le let's no let's not choose fire let's choose disintegrate so what so disintegrate is this effect so it, it like disintegrates and like it shows this really cool effect which looks awesome right yeah so we've essentially been uh, able to uh, like create this entire game and yeah that's that's pretty much it so um, there's there's something we can add in the beginning of our game so that's um, that's called the splash thing uh, so what it does is like okay let's search for splash yeah you can essentially find splash on game and you can go to splash and you can put it on the beginning so our game the game the name of our game is eat the taco and we're essentially gonna be okay make code tutorial game so what is uh, what this is gonna do is this is gonna show eat the taco make a tutorial game we, we also yeah so this is what it's essentially gonna show and whenever we press a or we could all, all always press X on our key oh uh, we could always press Z on our keyboard and it resembles a and we can use the arrow keys to control our sprite or our character essentially so this is pretty much the game we've created so uh, hopefully you've, uh, you're able to learn um, something out of this. So um, we're, we're, we're going to learn the exact thing, the exact thing we did from JavaScript point of view as well. So the entire code for our game looks like this. I'll try to explain what each of these means and how you can also get started with uh, modding the games the way you want. So yeah, um, that's that's pretty much for the tutorial. Um, I hope you like the video. Uh, the thing you can do right now is uh, you can simply uh, go to mybuild.microsoft.com and register for make code sessions happening at the student zone on build. So I'll be linking, um, putting all of those links in the description. You can simply go there and check it out. So yeah, feel free to comment and ask uh, any questions that you want. So after you uh, create your uh, after you create your game, 
you simply want to go to share and you uh, so this is uh, the name of my game eat the taco and I I'll try to play this okay I'll try to take a screenshot and I'll try to take a record a GIF as well um, okay let's yeah um, so this this is pretty much it um, and you can publish your project and you'll get this cool QR code and the link which you can copy and paste it and that uh, and that's how you can share all of your games uh, to your friends or uh, to anyone who would want to play your games so it will essentially load here yes so we as you can see we can play the game and it looks pretty much it looks pretty fun right yeah th th this is a sort of yeah th this is the basic game we can create using make code so yeah see you all in the next video